Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode. And today we're gonna create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna use Generative Fill. Yes, for sure, after watching this tutorial, you're gonna use Generative Fill on your every design work. So yep, there is a lot to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we go, we're in Photoshop and again to start anything, let's start with a work um, and for that press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4x5, uh, let's keep the resolution as 300, color mode to RGB, let's keep everything as default and let's click on create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop our very first image right over here. And the very first thing, let's convert it as a smart object so that if we apply any filter on it, then we can tweak it later. And for now, let's keep it right over here. And let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it right over here. All right, now let's drag and drop our another image. So this one, let's drag and drop this sky image and very back. Again, same thing, convert it as a smart object. Press Ctrl and T, let's make it a little bigger. And for this one, let's rotate it in this way, I guess, yep. And let's fill this space and let's click and enter. And let's keep this layer just under this layer. And for the layer one, let's rename it as a land escape. And let's rename this bottom as a cloud. Uh, let's click on that landscape image. Let's create a layer max. Uh, let's erase these hard edges. Uh, in another language, let's blend these two images. So select on that layer max, go to brush. Uh, let's go for a general soft brush. That means it has a soft rounded edge. So let's click on that layer max. Make sure the color is black. And let's erase these parts. Just like so. Here we go. And maybe let's get that thing a little bit back. All right. And then maybe let's move. Let's keep it maybe right around here. So this landscape is very saturated. So let's create a hue and saturation. Let's click on clip to layer so that this hue and saturation affects this specific layer only and let's desaturate a little bit just just like so and for the bottom one let's add a photo filter and let's give it a kind of warmer tone here we go and maybe let's increase the density some more just like so so this is before and this is after let's keep it like that for now and then go over here and let's drag and drop this image right over here and press ctrl and g let's make it a little smaller and maybe let's keep it right and now let's use generative fill uh, to add some details on these designs so let's make a rough selection right around here. So maybe I want to add a water puddle right over here. So let's select these parts. Let's add, add, yeah, a reflection. And let's see what it comes up with. And then, all right, now let's see, let's, uh, you know what, let's, let's, uh, generate, add water, this section, and let's generate one more time. 
and it's just a hit and trial so um, let's keep on trying unless you find the one that you like yeah i like this one uh much better i think i think this one is better so i'll just use this one and then maybe let's add like a few grass right over here So after some heat and trial, so I got uh, this one and I think it looks uh, pretty good. Now let's add some uh, environment at the background. So let's go over here, create a new layer, go to brush and let's go for a fog brush. If you want to get this brush, please check in the description list below. And let's see. And let's add some environment in the background. Here we go. And let's go on very top. Uh, let's add one more in the front just just like so and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit and let's do the same thing for the bottom one let's drop down the opacity just like so and for the background, I guess let's drop down the saturation some more. And let's do the same thing for this one too. Let's add a hue and saturation. Click to layer. Let's drop down the saturation just to match our environment. Minus 7. And let's make a copy, Control J, and let's click and click to layer just to match everything. All right, I think this looks pretty good to me. And then let's go right over here, create a new layer, and go to brush, and let's go for a general soft brush just to add some glue on the background, just like so and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit here we go and let's add some elements too so let's make a rough selection right around here and let's add a red non reflective anything on my fabric the lines are flowing make it see realistic so let's click on generate and let's see what it comes up with let's click on generate one more time So I think I like uh, this one uh, much better. So let's keep it like that. And now let's create a new layer. Go to edit. Go to fill. Let's click on that 50% gray. Uh, let's change it to soft light. And let's do some dozen burn. So let's add some burn first. So let's go over here. Click on burn tool. And let's make this or uh, a little darker and let's click on the dodge tool let's add some dodge right around here 
here we go so this is before and this is after uh, let's go over that red fabric and i think this red fabric is too saturated so let's click on that hue and saturation let's click on that clip to layer and let's drop down the saturation some more here we go and click on that layer max just blend these uh two images so go to brush click on that layer max and with the black color selected let's get some of these parts just like so uh, let's create a new layer go to a brush and let's add some environment again just like so here we go and now let's add some text here we go and then let's add a one more text inside and let's add a curve on very top let's make it a little darker just like that and increase a little bit now let's uh, select uh, this fabric layer and let's add some motion blur so let's go to filter let's go to blur and let's add a little bit of motion blur maybe yeah, just a subtle i guess yep uh, maybe let's go for eight pixels yep let's keep it like that and let's click on ok and now let's merge everything Control shift alt and e now again let's go to filter let's go to blur and let's add a little motion blur just like so and again create a layer max again go to press and let's erase uh, some of these parts and for that i'm going to use a general soft brush and let's make sure the color is black and let's erase few parts just like so and let's add a curve on very top just to make it more darker and you can just leave it right here and just to add some little sauce on top let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e and i like to apply a dehancer and again it's a very 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 powerful plugin and just with the one click you can get that uh, filmic that photo print look uh, and it's very easy to use so just go over here just apply the dehancer flame so there are a bunch of presets and i would like to go with uh, this one and let's go over here and the only thing that i change is that the flame grain amount so let's drop down the amount a little down somewhere around here maybe the grain size too make it a little smaller here we go and let's go over here and let's click on that film developer let's increase that gamma correction a little bit maybe increase just not so just to saddle here we go and maybe increase the color boost too a little bit and click on that flim impact it just balance out everything so let's increase that impact a little more just like so and maybe color density too just a little touch yeah let's click on okay so yep this is before and this is after this is before and this is after and i'd like to add those text on very top just to make sure the text are visible so let's keep that text on very top make it control in g keep it inside a group and let's drop down the opacity a little bit here we go and yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative Bye bye